I told that. you guys about the uh I don't I know I told it on my channel years and years ago, but about the poop bandit story. <laughs> Tell it again. The poop bandit. Okay. So there's this it wasn't it's not me, but there's this kid. Uh, no, no, uh, the the bathroom bandit, they call him <laughs> at our high school. This kid, this this weirdo, and I was the only one who a hundred percent knew to my knowledge what was happening, who was doing it, because I almost caught him on accident one day early in the morning. This kid <laughs> we this weird kid he would go into school sometimes really early and he would go into the bathroom shit into a paper towel and then write <laughs> on the wall joker-esque messages like ha 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 you'll never catch me in shit on the wall <laughs> Or on the inside of stalls and like 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 clues like uh, getting closer question mark like, things like that to the point that our morning announcements they had to say like to whoever has been defacing our bathrooms, please if you know anything about this person report it to the principal. You won't be told out. But the time I figured out it was him, and this happened at all times throughout the day. It wasn't always the morning. There were I don't know how we never got caught. It, you'd go to class. Come back out before lunch. I need to use the restroom. Walk in. Ha ha ha. Like, there's shit on the wall. Like, when did this, this ghost of a person find it? Like, it got to the point that teachers were logging your bathroom exits. And <laughs> I, was, I got into school really early when he decided to strike one day. And I walked, I was about to walk into the bathroom, and this kid walked out. And he, he knew me. And so he was like, oh, Taylor, <laughs> I wouldn't go in there if I were you. <laughs> it seems a certain bandit has struck again. And then he walked away, and I'm like, oh, Mike, I knew it was you. Like, <laughs> you, you bastard. And so, Mike, shit bandit. Yeah, Mike was the bathroom bandit. Did he ever get caught? <laughs> uh, no, he, he knew when to stop. It, it was an Ocean's Eleven style, you know, calculated, calculated <laughs> mayhem he was running there. But that's yeah, oh, that's that, hilarious. Uh, the poor that's janitor, great. he became so sullen and downfallen every time he had to go in there and uh. clean the shit. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's great. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> that's a, that's so, an I can't move. I yeah. can't. I can't hang with your story. Like I, I don't know. Shit bandit. Yeah, so, yeah, the bathroom bandit. Wow. I didn't get along too well with much. I mean, I hit a, I hit one of the fucking teachers. Like, like I, I, I don't think they liked me very much there at that high school. What I, did I they, think they, they do to you for you to hit them. Nothing. It was com it was a hundred percent unprovoked. I did it on a dare. Um, I donkey konged him. I haven't told you about donkey konging donkey konging Mr. Cawthon. No, I don't tell think me so. About it. I got a shop teacher named Mr. Cawthon. He's six foot four, maybe like a hundred and sixty pounds. Really skinny guy. Um, uh, but he's like 40 years old. He's balding on top. I got a real southern accent. And uh, he's the leader of our shop class. It's woodworking, masonry. We build gazebos for uh, auctions cool. and stuff. He's cool enough, actually. <laughs> he yeah, really right? is. Uh, he's very nice to us, despite, despite shit like this. And so there was this rap song that one of my friends listened to. He, he listened to, like, underground, like, uh, Atlanta rap. And this rapper would always talk about donkey. In one of the songs, he's talking about Donkey Kong and hoes. And like, there's that part of the rap song where they stop rapping, and you you like hear them smoke, like, ah, yo, and then they start, and then they start like talking, yo, man, and like going back and forth, and they get in this thing about Donkey Kong and them hoes, and and, and and the first guy was like, yeah, man, I just got out of jail because I hit my girl, and you know, blah blah blah, and he's like, nah, man, you don't hit those girls in the face, you Donkey Kong at ho, you hit her in the top of her head so the police don't see no bruise, and it's just a ridiculous rap song about. <laughs> You basically, you make a fist, and you know how Donkey Kong's got a hammer, and he hits mm -hmm. you with a hammer? Top of the head. Just top of the head with the, the bottom of your uh, hand, you know, with the meaty part, not with a knuckle or anything. It's a jolt. Like, you're like, whoa, what the fuck happened? <laughs> and so we were doing it to each other as a joke at first, and then we just start doing I would just start doing it to random people in the hallways. And it became kind of a joke. I was like, I'll do it to anybody. I don't fucking care. I think it's funny. Uh, and they were like, I bet you won't do it to Mr. Coffin. And I was like, I will fucking do it to Mr. <laughs> Coffin. I don't give a shit. <laughs> and they're, they're like, you won't do it, you won't do it, double dog dare you, mother. And think of it, keep in mind, I'm like 16 years old. <laughs> and so, like, I'm st I, I walk up to Mr. Cawthon's podium as the class is starting, and he's like, he's like, you know, you guys get on the masonry, and you, you know, you need to get on the, uh, the shingles on the gazebo, and, Mars, what are you doing today? And I just went, Donkey Kong! And hit him in the top of the head real fucking hard. 
I hit him real fucking hard in the top of the head, so much so that he went, Ugh, like that. <laughs> and, and he just froze and looked at me like, <laughs> like with just hate in his eyes. <laughs> and I thought he was going to hit me. And I was getting ready to fight, maybe. I didn't know what was going to happen. And he just grabbed me by the arm. He, he's like, come to my office. And he told on me. <laughs> he went and fucking told on me. Of course he did. He up. can't let that precedent be set. That you yes. Wrap people so, on top of the head. He should have hit me. If, 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 to be honest, if, if he'd have smacked me in the head, like no matter what he did, he could have hit me in any way he wanted, been straight. No it problem cost at all. him his whole career. Nah, I wouldn't have said shit. So, um, <laughs> Your dad be so, on his side. So they suspend <laughs> me for like two days or whatever. Uh, and my, my dad made fun of him afterward. Like, Pussy. <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> he went so long. There were a couple. There were a couple incidents like that with my dad and teachers. But but anyway, God, like what a yeah, apple rousing little bastard you were. I was, I didn't. I don't know why I did it. They were just telling me I wouldn't, and I was. I just knew I would, and they just kept saying I wouldn't, and I I was fuck it. I'll do it. I just don't fucking care. Um, the other one was my. I had another teacher, and it was so like the other te. I had missed six days of his class, and if you miss more than five, you just fail. And, uh, and he had written in the book. And so, like, I didn't know it, but I had missed six days out of just his class. And, and he didn't know it either. So the paperwork goes through. I get my report card, uh, you know, in the summertime um, for the past year. And I failed a class. And this is going to, like, fuck up my, like, graduation time. Like, it's going to be cutting it close. I can only fail so many. Um, and, and so, like, I'm, I told my dad about it. And he's all upset. And uh, it just so happened that the teacher shot skeet with us, uh, sporting clays. And, uh, and so we're all at the sporting clay, pl pl clay place. We're about to meet up, and it's myself, and it's uh, the teacher who's failed me accidentally, and it's two more people, two more men who know both me, the teacher, and my father. And they start fucking with the teacher. Like this one guy, his name's Bart, and Bart has a stutter. He's about 40 years old, and he's, a, he's very, very much from the, the South. You ought not have done that. You ought not have failed that boy. I tell you right now, la, 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 Lamar Myers whoop a man's ass over something <laughs> like that. I've seen him do it. I've seen him put a her terrible ass whooping on a man for not not nothing. Not nothing, damn it. I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> and, and they just keep doing this to him. Like two or three guys are just telling the teacher, like, you shouldn't have done that. Lamar is mad. He's pissed. He's on the way over here. So he Dad doesn't know anything about this shit. He's not upset. He wouldn't beat up a teacher over a grade. He don't fucking care. So, like, dad pulls up, and the teacher has this in his head. He meets my dad at his truck and is, like, looking in the window. Hey there. Hey, I just wanted to let you know I'm going to straighten all this stuff out with Kyle and his grades and everything. I'm going to make sure he's doing okay. And, and his dad is like, all right, then. That's, that sounds good. <laughs> but they got in his head so bad and got him so scared. <laughs> Nothing like that ever happened for me. That sucks. <laughs> no, I never hit a teacher. <laughs> no. But what's the worst thing you've ever done to a teacher? I've told the story before. I told one to go to hell. That's as far as I went. Have you, you embarrassed someone. yourself, though, like that? Of course. Yeah, yes. But, that, but not hurting someone. Like, not an aggressive move to hurt someone. Like, I've never I think the embarrassed most I've ever... myself by, like, hitting someone in the face with a beer bottle. But like, you hit someone with your stick or, like, hit them between the legs or, like, as a goalie? Never done the between the legs thing. I, I told the story that, where I hit somebody in the ankle pretty uh, pretty soundly, I would say. It, uh -huh. was a, it was a hard rap, but not to... Well, yeah, I guess so, but this is... See, aren't totally you in different. this... Like, you, is it totally different or is it pretty freaking similar? It's a little similar. <laughs> <laughs> it's really similar. I've got... I, I, I'm embarrassed of this, and, and if you play hockey, you'll know this really violates hockey culture. I've told the story before, but there was a guy who was kind of getting the better of me. I think we were grinding in a corner, and, and uh, I ended up falling. Grinding is the – you know what grinding is. Yes. It, yeah, I know. The, the puck is against the boards, and we're both trying to get it to our teammates, You know, pass it away so that it's to our advantage. And uh, when he got the best of me and I ended up like on my ass, I kicked him, kicked at him. I don't think I hit anything. But um, to kick at somebody with the bottom of your skates, even if it's his skates or shin pad like I was going at, in hockey is very frowned upon. It's like a cowardly, yeah. awful, not cool. Bit of a faux pas and also incredibly dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, those things are related. There's certain things in hockey, like third man in is another one where like, you know, if Taylor and I are in a fight and Kyle, you know, jumps in against me because he and Taylor are just, you know, blood brothers. No, Kyle. 
they, there's like no situation in which they make it okay to be third man in. And uh, anyway, so I see this guy and I think, well, in the heat of the moment, without thinking it through, I've done similar jackassery. If it's not a pattern with him, uh, maybe let it go. Well, not let it go. Suspend him from well, the game for a few games. But I okay, you're convincing me. Stop making sense and let me <laughs> judge this kid with impunity. <laughs> <laughs> I am better than him, <laughs> uh, dude. Especially for young people, I give him a big pass. I gave yeah. Duggar not a pass, but a. Who's Duggar? Duggar is that uh, religious, like nineteen and counting or something. And oh, one of yeah. their kids touched his sisters or something in an inappropriate way when he was fifteen or sixteen. And I guess, although I've never done that, I've never fondled my brother. Um, I, I just feel like there's a justification to why they kind of wipe your records clean at 18. Like, if you're 16, that maybe doesn't need to follow you throughout adulthood. People do idiotic stuff at 16. Mm, no, I disagree. Mm? I, I think maybe you're some th- some stuff maybe, but but I think like this guy. He's, he's molesting his his sisters throughout his childhood. At some point, we need to start writing that down. Like like like, like <laughs> if no one ever like goes, molested sister October first, nineteen ninety four. Then in nineteen ninety seven, when he when he rapes her, like we're gonna be like, oh, came out of nowhere. Makes How are we gonna be so stiff on this guy? We've never had any sign before. But no, it, no one was writing it down forever until his parents. His parents were finally like. Someone should probably start writing this shit down. And they report him to the cops. That guy's a scumbag. And, and the way that they pander to the religious right as some sort of shield to hold up, and you got the Palins and Huckabees of the world jumping to their uh, <laughs> their defense just because they're also Christians. Like, like mm-hmm. no, no, that guy's, that, that's a bad guy. He's, he's sick. He, that's a sick guy. Like, like, regardless of how you feel about pedophilia, that guy's a pedophile. He likes little kids more so than more so than Jared. <laughs> regardless Ogle, of how you who, feel, obviously I'm <laughs> pro pedophile. No, There's I, a huge <laughs> split among the population. <laughs> <laughs> I know a lot of you guys are pro pedophilia, but just me talking here. Um, but seriously, like everybody, na- we nailed Jared Fogel's ass to a wall mm-hmm. because he was trying to have sex with some 14 or 15 year old uh, prostitutes. Meanwhile, like this guy has been molesting his prepubescent sister for uh, over a pattern of years. And I think it might have been a couple of siblings. And like these kids are like eight when he would do it at one point, and then ten at another point. Nah, nah. And you know what's going on all in between. Don't think that he molested the kid once when when she was eight, and then like took a few years off, and then suddenly got caught the first time he tried it again. You know, several years later. No. He's molested his children, his his sister, sisters throughout their childhood. I I would guarantee it. Bad guy, nail him <sighs> to the wall. Don't let, don't forget. I don't know. That, How hot no, were the sisters? They were like eight. <laughs> <laughs> like they, they were about an eight. They were about an eight. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. I um. <laughs> yeah. And I, obviously, it's bad behavior, right? There's no doubt about it. I just, you know, when I think of my own, like justice system that I would create. I, I feel like the purging of the records at 18 and giving people a fresh right, start makes ch- a lot of let sense. Let me try to sway you. Let me try oh, to sway you. Can make you. It so my here's own the kids. difference. Carry on. When I was 16 or 17, I did a lot of silly stuff. Mm-hmm. I, uh, I, 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 I like to break mailboxes. That was fun, I thought. I like to egg houses. Not usually of strangers. I, the, that was usually directed towards someone I didn't like. Lots of, lots of juvenile stuff like that, like petty crimes, um, you know, just destruction of property, mostly. I feel like, yeah, like, like there's no reason not to expunge that had I gotten in a lot of trouble when I was 16 or 17 for like crushing mailboxes because that's clearly like a juvenile thing. It's just it, it's just I was bored. I, I had frustrations to work out. It was a, you know, not much to do around here kind of thing. This is different, though. It, 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 the reason you expunge my record is because I'm going to mature when I turn 20 and I'm not going to be into breaking mailboxes. I'm going to be into GPAs. So that's OK. Meanwhile, you got this guy. GPA who's is in grade point. My averages? GPA, my grade point average. At yeah, I'll, I'll, you didn't go to college. Hypothetical me. Like, <laughs> this, this, this is hypothetical me. Okay. I, I'm just saying, you know, for for any, I, I also didn't get arrested for for destruction of property. Hypothetical me. I'm just saying, destruction of property and those silly crimes like that should be expunged because it's a, an immature person acting out and doing something, uh, for, you know, that's 
natural, I feel like. All young guys do that sort of stuff in one way or another. Maybe you don't drive a ra- ride around crashing mailboxes, but you did something. But this guy has been molesting his siblings throughout childhood. But that, but There's he, a pattern He was there. a child, too. And don't you think that... He was, he was, was, he? He was I don't a, even know the a age teenager. He's a 16, teenager. 16, 17. He's a teenager molesting actual children. I don't think 17 is a child. I think 17 is a grown-ass adult who can make some pretty big-time decisions. I, I think especially at 17... People make some pretty bad sexual decisions. They're when still I was figuring 16, shit out. When I was 16, I was fully aware I couldn't fuck the freshman. I was fully aware at 16, don't fuck the freshman, you'll get in trouble. At 16, I knew this. And there were 18-year-olds fucking the freshman, but I knew better because I'm not a moron. This guy is fucking his sisters throughout childhood, and you're like, no, he I was bet. not fucking them. He's finger-banging them then, Woody. I thought he was- I- finger action was on top of the panties. I have no idea. I don't even want to talk about the uh, intricacies of it, but it is wildly <laughs> inappropriate no matter what he did. Like that's. Yeah, I, I really don't think we can minimize this. I, I feel like yeah. molestation is molestation. I it don't is. think the little girl saying, like, looking back, like, no, I'm not damaged at all. It was above the panties, guys. Above the panties. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a fully formed human being. No, yeah. no. She's still fucked up because she got, like, masturbated or something by her brother, like, throughout childhood. And like I was saying before, there's no way this happened two or three times or whatever the reports say mm-hmm. or how, however many times the parents. How, how far would it have to go in your own household before you report your own child to the police? I think they that, didn't. I think was, they told they a did. friend police. It was man. definitely around for years if they finally turned him in. Because you know that they had a bunch of discussions with him beforehand. Like, we walked in on you I, again that was doing this with your sister. That was part of the thing. Like, he never faced court. He never got um, real therapy. They told a friend who was a policeman and he kind of handled it uh, informally. How mm-hmm. bad does it have to be before you do that? Like they this had is a ten clearly, strike policy. They clearly had a teenager <laughs> that, that we know of. There's a lot of pitches sentence. we never saw. Yeah, <laughs> with no learning disabilities, no excuses, mm-hmm. no no reason to say. Well, but he, you know, in reality, this 15 year old's a, a seven year old. He's exploring. No, you've got a child molester in this Duger guy or whatever the fuck his name is. And he's going to continue to molest. I bet he's molested since, and he'll molest again because that's what sexual predators do. Bill Cosby didn't rape 50 women because he had a hard time getting pussy. Sexual predators do it. If they do it once, they'll do it again and again and again. The Duger guy shouldn't have his record expunged because we need to be writing it down and remembering so that the next time he molests a child, it's the last time. I, can, I agree with that. Definitely. Uh, I feel like he's making his point so well, but... It- he hasn't convinced me that he's right. I, I, I just, again, people Would you feel comfortable with him looking decision. after small children that were yours? Well, no. no, of course not. <laughs> of like, course not. It, no, so there has why to be a line you want drawn? something in place out there to at least put him on a different level than, than you are when it comes to him being allowed around small children? Shouldn't everyone with small children who ever lives near this guy know? Yeah, I would well, want to know. I got two little girls who are seven and eight. Duggar's living next door. The guy who likes to rub them above their panties a little i don't want to you're not rubbing my daughter above her panties or above anything like no like there's no acceptable way to to masturbate my seven-year-old daughter sir compromise between (laughs) what you both of you guys are saying like like an extreme sexual predator who does it repeatedly yeah that you need to keep tabs on that you can't just Mm -hmm. ignore it and pretend like it didn't happen like oh you know boys will be boys like you can't pull that shit but if you know if it's something like break in a mailbox or you get caught with a little bit of pot or something and you're 16 like a little like petty theft shoplifting wipe wipe that off that's probably just pubescent idiocy that's hopefully not a trend of the future but some shit is just beyond the pale which yeah i I think that that and it would be different if they were like kids playing doctor because because that and i feel like that's what the family has been trying that's the damage control mode right that's what everyone wants to do uh, that's what the palins and huckabees want to go to that and they want to talk about christian forgiveness as if that works in the criminal justice system that uh, but that's bullshit no no it's it, it wasn't little you, kids playing doctor you had an almost adult 15 16 17 year old and you had seven year i think a seven year old like 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 I'm not uh, sure maybe, if you're. I, I know your numbers on the assaulter are good, fifteen to seventeen. Uh, yeah. The the child, I'm not sure. 
seven, eight, nine years old, it wouldn't matter to me if she was, she was 10. She's in that range. I, I, I think, it, I think the, the age of the, the, the victim changed over the years. I think maybe it began when she was six or seven and like was happening during like the eighth and ninth years or something. Yeah, it's getting pretty hard to defend. As a general philosophy, I do like the idea of giving people a clean slate at 18 because people are idiots when they're young. Um, but I'm also starting to be winning me over on the, yeah, but some things we remember, you know, and, and it also, it's true. Like it, if he committed this, you know, sexual assault at seven, I'd be more inclined to forgive it than seven. Don't even care. Don't even care. If two seven year olds yeah. are fucking like you, the parents should be in trouble, but the children shouldn't like, like mm-hmm. why do those seven year olds know how to fuck? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, little problem there but like you're watching the discovery channel too much over there Uh, maybe and i'm sure that could even happen but 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 at 17 you know you start to try him as an adult i feel like he knew what he was doing he knew what he was doing was wrong for sure i feel like his parents knew what he was doing i bet it was just like that chris rock routine where he he was talking about like everybody's got an uncle who's this or that he's like everybody got the gay uncle everybody's got and everybody got that molester uncle (laughs) <laughs> He's like, everybody's got that molester and uncle. Your mom will be like, where's them kids? They with Johnny. Oh, get them kids away from Johnny. Get them kids away from Uncle Johnny. Like, yeah, everybody's got the molester uncle too, and you don't let them near him. I guarantee the parents uh, to go along with that were like, yeah, let's not leave Bill with the girls. Like, like we're going on vacation. Who's going to watch the kids? Uh, I'll watch them, Mom and Dad. Like, I'll look after the girls. Nah, actually, we're going to send you to that camp again this year. <laughs> like, like. No, there's something wrong I, with that guy. I, I don't like him. I, I, I hate their whole family and, and, and everything they're for. And I, and I really despise the way that, like... So somebody wrote me on Reddit. And, and because this is a Patreon benefit, I really cut back. One in a hundred. I get a lot of letters all the time. But this one I thought was, was just good for the show. And uh, so anyway, don't go thinking this, there's a freeway on the show. This is a, an exception. Found out my girl is a bit of a Jesus freak. I'd love some advice. I present this to you, the panel. Hey, Woody, I'm a huge fan of PKA, and I love the new places it's going with the survival trips. So anyways, I'm I'm not going to give his age away, but he's a uh, a teenager. uh, Wrapping up high school before too long. And I've gotten in a pretty serious relationship, if that's a thing at my age. We've known each other for three years, and last June, I got the balls to ask her out. I knew she was Christian, but it didn't really bother me. I'm secular, but not uber anti-religion, so I figured, eh, I like her, it's no biggie. Well, I was wrong. She won't even kiss me. She'll give me a hug, and that's about it. She's one of those sexes for marriage girls. Heck, if I make a joke that's slightly edgy at all, she gets uncomfortable, like a Jared Prison Fogel joke. I'm sorry, a Jared Fogel prison joke. Uh, great beginning of the relationship material. <laughs> <laughs> well, June, so you know, he's a couple months in. Oh, okay. I don't know what to do. I really like her a lot. She's a great person. She's super attractive. In a way, it's reassuring to know that she has good morals. Not saying Christians are always morals, but this girl's special. Our families have even become friends, and I can really see her being the one. We do everything together, and we get along great. But am I just wasting my time and her time? I can't change who I am just to stay with her, and I feel like an asshole for starting this relationship as I should have been honest with myself, and I'm afraid I'm really going to hurt her. Should I try to change her up and loosen her as a person or end it? Really appreciate the advice. He needs to end it. End it. Two ways I can see this panning out is, one, they go to different colleges, and he is resenting himself and coming to resent her because he's not allowed to go out and have fun and she'll be keeping tabs on him on all the fun thing he wants to do and he doesn't have any problem with but she would and so he'll just be doing that for her sake and then when they eventually do break up he'll just have so much regret about it and well I rolled both into one so only one thing yeah that's the <laughs> <laughs> but yeah that's what's going to happen or I mean if they do go to the same school she's going to keep such close tabs on him that's it's it's not going to be fun for you, dude. You're a couple of months in and you already have this much hesitation to write into our podcast and ask us about it. Like that's, you really like her now and that's fine, but you're going to wish that you had opened your horizons a bit once you get to college. And if you don't and you end up breaking up, you know, sophomore, junior year, you're going to just look back on all that time that you potentially now think that you wasted. So I say get out while you can, but be friendly about it. Seems like a good girl. Yep. I agree that wow so i disagree (laughs) (laughs) i um 
So th- there's a chance. I, I, I've got the word asexual in my head, right? And uh, I feel like that gets thrown around a lot. Like an amoeba? Like an a. No, a- asexual is a term that they use now for people who have no sex drive, who, who just have no desire to have sex, who uh, have no, none of that on, on their own. And uh, um, there are a lot of Christian girls who want to save themselves from marriage who are kind of cool with doing everything but. Um, or doing everything but, if you know. Oh, what I mean. <laughs> for those of you on the way to work, Woody's winking. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, my bigger concern is not that you know she wants to wait for marriage or whatever that is. It, it, it's that she'd be happy with a life that only does sex for procreation. And I don't. I wouldn't be in a hurry to just like wrap this thing up and call it quits because you're not getting what you want from her. I would just keep an eye out and make sure that I don't know that you guys are compatible in the end. Like I, you know, I had this as a video idea. Uh, what but wait, marriages? wait, that's Com- risky. Compatible really in the risky. end? How old is this guy again? Sixteen. Yeah, you're right. Come on, that's get some time. pussy. <laughs> yes, yes, Kyle's one hundred percent right. Look, look, it doesn't matter if look, you don't want anyone who's going to work out for you in the end. You're sixteen. The next eight years at least is fuck time. It's fuck time. Fuck, fuck, fuck everything. If she's if she's taking that long, she's wasting your time. Move along. You could have fucked two girls in this in, in these two months you've spent with her. Two. Sure. You're two behind right now. You're at negative you're, two. You're at a buffet. You've fallen and you behind. Picked up a crab rangoon from the appetizer section of the buffet. I love and those. you really like it. But now you've relegated yourself to only crab rangoon. And not even oh, just crab rangoon. So just rich. occasional crab rangoon. It's, it's not even occasional. Like it's I not it's everything doesn't. but the good part of the rabbit rangoon. You know, you're not getting everything you want out of it. And there's a bunch of other things in the buffet. Maybe the orange chicken's just as good and a lot more fun. A lot of people just, who've had sex with a lot of different people agree that it kind of makes monogamy a bit harder. That that sex loses its barrier and its specialness. It's 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 just like co-masturbating or something. That that um, if you really if you follow the fuck buffet advice, that uh, you know when if you do decide to do the marriage route, that you might not be good at it. Every every woman is different though. It's 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 not like it's it. You make it sound like. It's like gorging yourself on tons of mashed potatoes. That's what you just described, where you just had so much sex that like now all sex is the same. Where I'm not gorging myself on mashed potatoes. It's you, different That's dishes. That's not what I was oh. saying at all. No? I, I was just saying that like That's once like. you enter the intimacy, once you break the intimacy barrier with enough people, all of a sudden that barrier gets pretty flimsy and you become not good at monogamy. Hmm. I mean, that makes sense. I don't... I don't know any research or anything behind I, it, but I, I, just, I understand what you're saying. People I've spoken to, and I'm not talking about Kyle no, at all. These are it. like people on forums and stuff. Uh, people I've spoken to on forums, have, 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 they've agreed on that. I think a man's... It's on uh, yeah, for it's the right most there on the internet. <laughs> for the Wood most part, forums. a man's <laughs> level of faithfulness is dependent upon his options. So one could say that, it's really, that, that what you actually have here is People who are ca- guys who are capable of having sex with a lot of women are just capable of having sex with a lot of women and will keep doing so. Because I think that, like, if you're a single guy or in a non committed relationship, like, and, and there's just readily available women to fuck, like, there's no way you'll say no. How, 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 has anyone here turned down sex from a, a woman you found attractive before? I feel like I could definitely no. get sex if I wanted to. Like, I, of course, of course, you, you know, can get the sex. The, you have a man. But, but it's turning the sex down. That's what we're talking about. Well, have you, Kyle? I have not. Have I had the ability or have I actually turned it no, down? No, have you actually done it? Because you were saying that you were leading the question in a way that your answer was like, oh, obviously, no, I didn't. I think but I, I have. I, hmm. I, yes, I have. <clears throat> I have turned down sex. Um, for to remain monogamous in, in situations, I have done that. It is an incredibly difficult thing to do, though. It I, is very difficult because, like, just genetically speaking, like, 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 we're made to to always want that, and, and it's it's usually so fucking hard to get. And then when it's just freely offered, when it's just like, hey, do, do you want pussy? It, it, you know how hard it is to say no. Yeah, it, <laughs> it wasn't that obvious. For oh me, no, I'm full. Like, on more than one situation, I feel like. 
women have flirted with me in a, like a knee touch or something like that, that I felt like if I responded in kind, could have cheated, didn't, obviously. That's, that's saying something. I, I feel what you're saying. But I'm talking about... Yeah, that's a couple I'm steps talking yeah. about like it, it, in the modern dating scene in the, uh, in the, uh, the Tinder era, it would be very common for a woman to say something like, hey, do you want to come over and fuck me? Like, like, like those words were like just right out in the open, 100% plain. No games are being played. You want to fuck? And, and to, 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 to be able to say no is, is, is just a difficult thing to do, I think. See, I think it's, it's harder to say yes if you're not accustomed to doing that. If you haven't said yes with, well, you know. You, were, you didn't say that people who cheated on their, uh, their partners more, were more likely to, to cheat. You said that people who right. had more sexual partners. By that rationale, I could have two dozen committed relationships, each of which lasted, you know, three months each throughout my 20s. And I would then you know, fall right into that same pattern of people who find it difficult. That's to what I'm problems. saying. Yeah, yeah. I'm not yeah. saying cheaters are cheaters. I'm, I'm saying, yeah. Oh, cheaters are cheaters. Yeah, that, I don't know, that may be so. But it, yeah, if you were to have like, you know, two dozen, if, if, if you're fucking 20 or not 20, but let's say 24 to 34 women through your 20s, then you know, maybe you've broken that intimacy, intimacy barrier enough that it becomes not much of a barrier anymore. Hmm. It's not the intimacy. All right. So I've, I, I, I feel like it's in poor taste to throw a number out there, but quite a few women I, I, I think I've had sex with uh, in, in what ha remains of my 20s. Um, don't have much time left. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, I can't say whether it's affected my ability to be monogamous or not. But I don't think that, like, I, I, I'm not looking to hit the same number in my 30s. Like, I, I don't, I feel like it's, it's less so. I think it makes me more able to be monogamous because, like, I've been out there and yeah. I've fucked a lot of different Gotten kinds of women. Gotten out of your system to an extent. I, that's how I feel, honestly. I, I feel like, yeah, I fucked that snake woman that time and then I fucked that hooker that time. And, you know, I fucked that Asian chick and that Filipino chick and that black chick and, you know, on and on and on. And until it's just like, yeah, and I fucked this older lady and this, you know, whatever, like all the different kinds of women. I, I feel like I've, I've been with them, the, the ones I, you know, whatever. And I, I feel like now in my 30s, which are coming soon enough, uh, like, like I'm not looking to... When is your to, birthday? It doesn't matter, you know. It's, <laughs> uh, May 9th, May 9th. Is that uh, it? Yeah, yeah. Coming up soon. Is, is what it? Yeah, that's my real birthday. Uh, oh, everybody knows it because my YouTube channel was my birthday channel. Uh, birthday. Oh, it's, okay. Yeah, five nine eight. I was six. asking privately, you know, to get yeah, yeah, everybody a knows. Private like, answer. Yeah, there's no way to hide that anymore. A cat's out of the bag. So, um, yeah, I think it makes me more likely to be a monogamous, committed <laughs> thirty-five year old at some point. Though that's not my goal, really. It's, it's not really to settle down permanently or anything. I don't think. I feel like with this sixteen-year-old, you know, he's dating a. He calls her a, a bit of a Jesus freak. Um, I don't know. If you like spending time with her, then, uh... No, 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 Listen no. To, look, go fuck a bunch of other chicks, and then rub it in this chick's face, and then fuck her. That's what you need to do, and that's what no one else will tell you to do. You, you know what's super common? This is... You okay, other than this... This, this is how it's gonna play out. This is what's gonna happen. She is going to withhold it from him for the entire time they date, right? She is gonna... <laughs> Listen to me, he said. Uh, she is going to like, you know, oh yeah, remain chaste, remain pure, whatever. They're going to date for 18 months before it finally breaks off. And then she's going to date another guy and she's going to fuck him six weeks in. This story has that been is a told. Strong possibility. It, it's like the it's like a one hit wonder in music. This is a super common story. She will get so used to turning you down and you will get so used to accepting it. She's going to fuck the next guy in a few weeks. Yep. If that could just be an immediate rebound. Uh, but, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't leave her immediately. You, here's what you do. Here's what you do. You make your case. You say, look, I want sex to be part of my relationship at this phase in my life. And I care a lot about you. And I'd like us to stay together. But I feel like for us to really connect with each other, if we're ever going to find out if we are right for each other, then we should really connect. I trust you enough for you to be my first don't you trust me the same way? And if she doesn't fuck you, then you break up with her, you go fuck another chick, and then you rub it in chick number one's face, and then she will fuck you. And that's what you do. 
I'm sorry. Right. That All right, then cool. she'll fuck you that, in this scenario. You know. That's so not happening. That is very good advice. Chicks or you fuck zero chicks. It it's is good, your choice. No. It's good advice aside from the coming back with some weird vendetta at the end. <laughs> no it didn't lay out of it. It's just not a thing. Yeah. It's not an <laughs> angry fuck. Like, like, <laughs> even if you take the whole, you know, him wanting it and she doesn't thing out of it, her being a super conservative Christian and you're already noticing that as a big problem. Like, you think that's just going to go away? I, Those the, the option, she's no. going to get Those way more extreme nasty. or she's going to, yeah, she's going to either get really extreme with the Christianity in college or she's going to zoot that other direction real quick and abandon all of it and go crazy. In yeah. which case, if you're at different colleges and that happens, you've wasted all your time for nothing anyway. Yeah, man. Like, like this isn't one of those things where you're like, ah, oh, I'm never going to get to have sex with Stacy. You're going to fuck Stacy. Like, trust me. No matter what, as long as you don't, like, really bitch out of this situation, you're going to fuck her, for sure. Because she's going to, like, loosen up next year or the year after, but she could loosen up in Long four months if you start fucking one of her friends. You need to be working on that you need to you need to show her what she's missing out on. You immediately cut all ties. To send her. dick pics. No, no. <laughs> you, need to, you need to cut her completely loose, and you need to go to this other chick, and you need to be the best boyfriend you ever can to this to chick number two. Doesn't even matter if she's that great looking. It's better if she's not as good looking as chick number one. By the time this is over, you will fuck them both, and you'll be much happier. If you stick with chick number one, you're not fucking her anytime soon. Just you get never. out of this weird maze that Kyle's trying to put you into this <laughs> labyrinth of deceit just end it and have fun in college you don't or have with someone to look else. at it as a labyrinth of deceit here look at it this way break up with her and find somebody else perfect but in the back of your head remember <laughs> that's somebody else you're just fucking her to rub it in chick number one's face because when she sees that you're off you really you got this other thing going on she's going to be jealous that's 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 all that's going to happen I, I guarantee it yeah, and well, something about her weight uh, when you break up. Just a little, like like a, like a little thing, like like not even like yeah. a direct insult. Just be like, you don't sweat much for a fat girl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like you've been a big, big, big impact on my life, and just a heavy, heavy impact. <laughs> I can physically feel it, you know? like two backpacks. I think you, know? you said a couple times that she was really pretty. You'll be okay. I mean, you're. a big girl yeah <laughs> it's better if she's really pretty they have the most fragile self-esteem where are you from woody i thought you were from new jersey i thought you were i thought you were you were hooking up with those tourist chicks i never gotta, fucked them oh i did not get laid that summer that's a shame. yeah people thought that no I, I i i kissed a lot of girls and went to a lot of movies but i was not sexing up all those girls well, it wasn't a total loss. A lot of movies. It seems like I love the, the scenario you described because I feel like I don't know, eighteen-year-old single you or whatever or whatever, like an older age group bracket of anyone, not necessarily you. That sounds like a great like yeah, it was environment to live in. I'd like to be a townie. That'd be cool. A townie. <laughs> yeah, I want to be a townie somewhere. Maybe, maybe yeah. that's what I'll do in my thirties. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I don't know if, if Taylor knows it, but yeah, in in fast forward. When you live in a beach town, every week there's like a whole new batch of people, and uh, and I would just you know whatever date them, date couple of them. I get caught like cheating with my you know three day old relationship. Didn't care at all. It's like oh you thought we were like you know like yeah all right I got caught. You can both drop me. I don't, I don't give a shit. Let me just get started on another yeah, the one. The bigger your pool is, the the more the 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 wider you can cast your net. Yeah, and that's just a, a fun way of saying like. You can just get a, a speech down, just a basic intro, and memorize <laughs> that shit like a line, like you're an actor. That's all you got to do. Same intro every time. You know what the three possible reactions are. You got a line for each one of those. Next line. You got like five lines, and that's all you need. If you, are, if you haven't gotten a date by the fifth line, then you just move on to the next one. And you don't even have to be polite when you walk away. Just like, and it's just fucking move <laughs> like, like, move. The you don't have to go far. Like, you can see the next one from the, like, nah, and just go to the next one. Like, oh, there's that uh, North Carolina guy who, um, let's see, he's looking at felony sex offender charges for having nude photos of himself. <laughs> that's, that's like an Onion article. But the thing is, it appears that he also has a charge of possessing a naked photo of his girlfriend who was 16 when they exchanged the photos. 
And uh, how old was he? Uh, he's Where seventeen. Just... He was also sixteen. Jesus, this is ridiculous. They need context for these kind of situations like that. It doesn't make sense. I agree. This is why I don't the like pictures mandatory are the mandatory problems. No, the pictures are the problem here because it's it's a th they're in they're technically in possession of child pornography, and that's why when you're like an underage kid, like like sexting is probably not a good idea because every time you do that, you're kind of committing a crime, and I, 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 it's the it, it's not the kind of crime that people go out and like dog you for like there's no investigator coming around to look into your your nudies if you're a 16 year old uh football player somewhere however if anything else in your life happens that's a bit of a complication and this comes up it'll be added to everything else that's what i always say about like having a gun in your car like someone was asking me the other day like do i need a concealed carry permit just to have the gun in my car and i was like well it's the letter of the law in some circumstances yeah if you want it out in the open and readily loadable but I've never seen a scenario where a, a cop pulled someone over and they had their deer rifle or their, their, their bird gun or, you know, their hunting firearm or something like that in their car when they even said anything. Oftentimes, they'll just kind of acknowledge it, nod, maybe even compliment it and move along. Hmm. But if you're there on a DUI charge, they're going to write that weapons charge up along with it because that's how that sort of thing goes. So that's why it's just best to always be doing the right thing and not be in possession of child pornography, you 16-year-old knucklehead. <laughs> Snapchat, but that's delete good it. Advice, but it is ridiculous. I, it is ridiculous. I, yeah. If I were king, I think the laws would be very similar to the um, the consent laws, right? Like, if you're you need to be 13 at all. Other than that, we have some sort of problem. I don't know. I need to think that through. But if you're both sorry, 14, if you're both 14, then you're in the clear. If you're 14 and he's 18, check the birthdays because that's the widest gap that we're allowing here. If you're 15 no. and he's and he's 19, you don't like it. Go on. No, because it can it's a, it, it 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 creates a system that can be abused by adults. It, now what you're saying it, it, now I see that being used in the same way that sometimes drug dealers will use children to carry out their drug transactions because they're of an age where they won't do any time. Now I can see like some sort of child pornography ring which employs children to 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 handle the 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 trading. Well, she, she's fourteen. She's not. That's not child porn. That's not child porn. She's fourteen. It's it's on her phone. It's it's pictures of her. She owns it. No, it's not child porn. She's just delivering it to that guy over there. So if you want to slap her on the wrist, go for it. it you just you got to have a zero tolerance thing policy with that so that you. I take that back. Not zero tolerance. <laughs> uh, uh, maybe two tolerance. You know? <laughs> two tolerance. Still very low. Two tolerance. Three point one four tolerances. Strict, but still a little tolerant. <laughs> but th that system won't work. You can't have like a thing where like dates are coming into play, and you got to do. You got to get out a calculator to figure out if that's child porn on that phone. What if this sixteen-year-old has pictures of of like ten different girls from his class? Are you gonna go through and and like be looking at all these naked like? All right, she's sixteen, sixteen, sixteen. 15 and 11 months you motherfucker like like, like it just doesn't work that way and, and and i feel like that could be abused by an adult who's trying to like do some sort of child pornography ring as well i don't know it's a sticky it's a know. weird situation I, I feel like and the my best solution's still better than yours like you're you have a you know better nope. than deleting your pictures well i mean let's assume we exist in a world where you can't have teenagers not sexting each other as you delete <laughs> pictures after Snapchat. Well, oh. <laughs> can't be keeping a library of nudes of your classmates. Um, I hear you, but I I still feel like you know. Let's assume that sixteen year olds make mistakes. What are we going to do about this? I like the idea of uh, you know, you can only own these things if you're at the right age yourself. I don't know, but then it. All right, so here's now a the relationship get like now all of a sudden you're fourteen and it's okay for you to look at any fourteen year old. That, I don't think I like that. And, and what can that 14-year-old do with those pictures? What if he shows them to someone older? You know, What if he get, sends them to someone older? What if the 14-year-old sends it to a 16-year-old? Now the 16-year-old's in trouble, but the 14-year-old's not? If, if that law goes into, into, into effect, I'm going to yeah. fuck everybody I don't like that's an un overclassman. Oh, yeah? Child porn to you, my friend. And to you. <laughs> and to you. <laughs> like, like, I'm calling 911. Oh. Yeah, there's three guys that are starting on the football team. They all got child porn on their phone. And then my next call is to the coach. Hey, coach, um, <laughs> you, 
you think you can put me in next week? Like, <laughs> <laughs> kids are too scary these days. You don't know this, but uh, wide receiver and cornerback have openings. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be playing uh, all three, uh, all, all three times this week. I have special teams, offense, defense. I got you. Shit. I'm gonna be kicking off too. I, I feel like I don't have a solution for this, but there's no good way to handle it. Like it's no, good it's... advice, like Kyle said, to just not do it until you're 18. But at the same time, that's abstinence, though, and I hate like, that. Just yeah. But what other solution? Snapchat's is? like a condom for this, and uh, hmm. and bleeding your pictures is like the morning after pill. So use some birth control if you're going to be sexting children.